So I'm Sujit. So working for Happy Aspens as a senior technical lead at Domain ATSM. We are a managed service provider, global system integrators. We do have services across various verticals. We have product engineering services. We have database services. We have infrastructure management security services. We have robotic process automation services. So which lies on the different sectical or verticals of the sectors as well. So each uh, product, uh, each business unit is responsible for their, you know, like their KPIs and all. And from I belong to the, you know, like vertical called infrastructure management security services, where we predominantly uses the monitoring tools like manage engine, ops manager, apps manager and all. So which like, you know, which we're using from last five to six years. And I must say the team is running very smooth with that. I do handle a tools platform. So the entire tools architecture in a happiest minds infrastructure management security services with respect to shared services is been handled by our team. The first thing is on the manage engine service express MSP. So uh, before, as we say, MSP coming into the picture, this MSP tool coming into the picture, each customer, each tool, three different monitors for one technician. The life was very hectic for them. Because anytime if a P1 ticket comes for customer A, a P2 ticket comes for customer B or a customer C, so he or she needs to be actively responsible for that. But here in MSP, we have got an extensive functionality in terms of graphical user interface, where we have just, we have to set the view. We have to set the view and we can set the view based on the customers like customer A, I can set the view only P1 tickets should be visible for me, customer B, P1 tickets, customer C, P1C, something like that. So at a time, no, the, the three different monitors, one single monitor with the three different tabs. So that is making the life easier in terms of SDP MSP. It's not only related to incident management, it is for even change management, problem management, asset management, because when it comes to an asset management, asset management plays a very key role here. Why I'm specifying a key role here? Because each customer will be having their own unique domain. Customer A.test.com, customer B.test.com will be having their own variety of devices. It could be their servers, network devices, it could be their what you call uh, cloud items, it could be cloud components, correct? So here in MSP, we have a unique way of segregating. That's where the multi-tenancy concepts adds in a good value to this. Why I'm specifically telling this multi-tenancy? Because each technician, we can assign a different roles and scopes. A, a technician A can work on customer A, C and D, whereas technician 2 can work on customer D, C and F. So each login will be having their own uniqueness. Tasks will not be duplicated. We can achieve faster response and as well as faster resolution. That's where MSP brings in lots of values. Yeah, so uh, when it comes to an asset management part, Desktop Central plays an important role because Desktop Central, it's not only giving us the managing the endpoints, it also has the credibility and capacity to get the reports out of it, performing various functions such as inventory management, patch management, and your OS deployment, and also few amount of mobile devices management also we can do and the software metering, software license metering, software license compliance status, that also we can be set using Desktop Central. And yes, if we have connected to the Active Directory, we can fetch the AD reports, some amount of AD reports like top 10 users who has not logged in for so and so days, the FQDN reports. Uh, this happened, of course, during the pandemic itself, just start of pandemic. The entire, the knowledge transition was supposed to do it offshore but due to pandemic all the flights were banned the entire knowledge transition the kt transfer was done on remote starting from their it infrastructure what monitoring tool they are using it 
and how are we migrating it and uh, what is the process the entire migration from uh, one set of service provider to another set of service provider happened completely remotely there was not even a one person which was from happiest minds was allowed to the, to fly also we all know during the pandemic how difficult it was so at that point in time so managed engine suits site 24 7 played a very important role wherein especially on the site 24 7 wherein in site 24 7 we really don't have to depend on any infrastructure it is just setting up as a software in the cloud adding the customer as one account in the msp giving the agent link installing it on their end devices their customer was able to do or one devices and using the site 247 active directory bulk installation we we installed approximately some 200 to 300 devices it doesn't require a dedicated support or dedicated configuration team because it is self explanatory it was just it was just a plug and play for like an you know like an engineering graduates could have easily done that and uh, that was one of the hard times of the one of the scenario and uh, the second thing was on the migration from one itsm to another itsm and the point in time i should really thank service desk plus on demand support who really helped who really helped us in migrating 3 lakh 80000 request from one itsm tool to another itsm tool in 2 weeks uh it is not like that you know i am advertising or i am just promoting here whatever i felt and whatever i am feeling and whatever i will be feeling that i will be sharing to the next system integrators because at the system integrators we know the pain where it will be how it will be so in order to avoid all these hurdles i recommend manage engine msp suits